there's a ton of good about this car, sickening acceleration, vicious looks, cool tech, but let's start with the bad. The GTR has this green light in the deck. I think it's supposed to tell you when to shift economically because it starts flashing at about 2500 revolutions per minute and then comes on solid at 3000 or so, whenever the car is in manual mode. It flashes all the time, even when you're in 6th gear, which I don't understand, and it always made me take my eyes off the road, even after I'd been in the car for 2 days. I couldn't find a way to get rid of it, but I didn't look too deeply in the menus. It's a bear in traffic. When driving the GTR as it should be driven, no problem. Stomp the gas, it takes off like a rocket and you just have to get ready for second gear, which comes in about 2 seconds. But in traffic, holy smokes, in traffic it's a lurchy, clunky rocket just itching to take off. I sat on the freeway in bumper to bumper traffic for an hour yesterday and boy does it get annoying. This thing just wants to run free. It's the dual clutch's fault as usual, but this is one car that I wouldn't give up the DCT because when it's stretching its legs, it's awesome. So acceleration, like I said, always say, is brutal. The last time I had this car with a friend in the passenger seat he said it made him nauseated. It takes off so fast, and with so little slip, it doesn't feel like the tires are doing the work, just an invisible force pulling the front end. People try to keep up in traffic, not a chance. It does feel like a Nissan, though. It has just a little bit of 370Z sound from the exhaust, and maybe a little bit of the feel during acceleration too. Shifts from the 6er are strong and immediate at full speed, and of course a little clunky when going slower.